Hello guys, so here is the first Invit update. If you missed it, I published a tutorial on how I created a tropical scene with Envit and with a new feature of uh, this update that will allow you to use uh, speed tree models uh, with Envit. So if you don't know this software, of course you can create, uh, learn the software and create your own tree, but um, I can advise you to use the uh, library on the speed tree uh, website you can borrow uh, directly uh, some tree there are a lot and there are on perfect quality for example i took this one for my scene so tropical uh, palm so i will not explain you the software just how to get your finish model on speed tree into envit you just uh, need to know uh, something uh, as you know, Envit have some limitation for now. We are limited. We are limited to two mesh and only two shader, which is the main problem for now. I know, but is you can still uh, do some great things with. For example, if you look here on this really really complex uh, tree asset, there are there is a different texture for the palm uh, lift. Okay. We will not be able to have that uh, on Envit. We will only keep uh, one texture, the, the main one. Okay. Same thing for the, the tree. Uh, this one is, is composed of caps and different... Um, I don't have the perfect word in English, but this kind of uh, front shoots. Okay. This detail, detail uh, can't be uh, keep. Uh, that can be keep, but not the texture. We need to apply only the trunk uh, texture on everything. Okay. But when you mostly uh, when you use Envit, it's not for uh, close up. It's for really really far away uh, three. And at this distance, uh, you don't need to have uh, ten shader. Okay. Uh, look at my uh, tutorial. Uh, the tropical scene is working at the distance. Okay. You have your model here. Um, also, one really interesting thing with P3 is how it deals with uh, the wind. You can go to wind here and enable the wind effect. And it's working really, really great. Okay. And we want, of course, to have this animation. So you have the wind here. And um, I think, yes, here you have attribute. To enable or not and you can deal with some parameter like the strength etc when you are okay with that uh, you have some things to care about first the quality of the model you will export go to render uh, scrib which is a kind of wireframe and you will inspect the model I don't advise you to export as uh, high quality uh, for the same reason than later. High quality is great for close up. Um, yes, medium or low, it's quite, quite uh, enough for us. Low is great or medium. So, first, choose uh, this. Then, you go here to export. You will have to choose uh, one place, one patch. I will create here. Let's call it my palm. Create a folder because it will export texture and everything. So uh, create a folder to have everything uh, in one clean place and export your asset. Before to export, you will have an export mesh uh, windows with a lot of setting to, um, to configure. Here it's important. It's the first step you have to do with Envit. You just go to Maya, Envit, and in Info, here you have the speed tree converter okay so i put here for now you have this icon you click here and it will um, ask you where you want to save in fact it's just a speed tree preset export file so yes here why not you go back to speed tree and now in speed tree you save load so you load option uh, so it's a dedicated browser but i think if you go to browser uh, yeah here, use native Jalilo. Yeah, it's better for me. Desktop and just load this file. And now uh, that will load for you 
uh, set for you everything correctly to work with Envit. Of course, here, yeah, just check or not if you want uh, animation. Just check wind. Uh, don't touch anything here and just be sure to set correctly the length of the, the animation you want. Uh, five seconds for this frame. When it's done, click OK. When it's done, you will have all of this on your folder. This folder is all about animation cache. Of course, you have all the texture file and the point .fbx for the mesh one. This one you can delete. We don't need. Okay, so now go to Maya and Envit. First things, you will simply import the model. So I will go here and import the FBX. Okay. Um, here, to be sure, uh, just verify you are in uh, default. Okay, reset the setting. Uh, setting with uh, geometry. Animation, if you want animation, okay, check, don't touch anything, and import the model. Okay, so we have our model, perfect, and if you check, you also have the animation which is loaded correctly. Perfect. The main problems are from um, the mesh here. As you can see, uh, first, a bad thing, it's a mesh, uh, there is an empty mesh as group. Uh, which is wrong uh, for Maya. It's not great to have a mesh empty for groups. And we have more than two mesh, which is not good for Envit. Okay. And the main problem is also about shader. Uh, we have too much and too complex. We have too much shader. So look, all of this shader. Uh, we have bad names shader. We have wrong uh, broken file patch and we don't have Arnold but uh, old funk shader. So the problem is even without Envit, if you want to use that, you have to clean everything for Arnold, relink, create shader, it's pretty long. Okay. And also on the mesh you have an extra mesh shape uh, which is wrong too. So it's all that uh, this button will do for you that will clean everything. Okay, so here you have to be very careful about uh, the mesh inside. You need to select two uh, mesh, the trunks and the leaf one. But be careful, uh, here it's a complex case or the branch, the trunks, you click, you select, it's okay, it's well my trunks. But if I go to leaves, it's not really the leaves. You see, it's this kind of, uh, I don't know what it is, but the leaf, it's this mesh in fact. So why it don't uh, name it correctly? It's just because uh, it's badly organized uh, here in speed 3 So one thing you can come here and uh, try to understand and better organize your... <laughs> yes, the list mesh you see here is that. So I advise you to delete here and keep it clean as possible um, in speed 3 first to before to export and I will export it uh, again. Well, so now I import the cleanest model I did in Spectre. And yes, I will have my trunks, the caps, and watch it's called the fronts, which are the leaves. So you need to select at first the trunks and with control button, you select uh, which correspond to uh, the list of your tree, which is the front here. Then you click on this button to convert. Here, Envit will ask you uh, to locate it the um, folder uh, for the texture. So yes, this one, select. You're waiting. Sometimes it will uh, ask you again, just hit uh, enter. And yes, it's done. Now everything is clean. You have now a clean group at the root and only two clean mesh, one for the leaf and one for the branch. Each one with a clean Arnold shader with only the need file. Everything is set and calibrated for you. Um, here I am the trunks, so there is no uh, 
subsurface scattering. But if I look at the leaf, which is more complex, yes, of course, everything is set for you. Uh, the Arnold opaque is unchecked. All the texture I are plug, it's clean. You also have for the roughness, if you want a little eye range for more control and adjust manually. The bump, everything is set. And you also have a subsurface scattering, which is enabled. Uh, you can activate or not, but by default, it's due uh, for you. Uh, and also with a uh, LED geometry. So everything is perfectly calibra um, calibrated for you. Uh, now you just have to hit render.